Hi there, this is Linda and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. In this video, I'm putting together my project life spread for the week of April 8th through April 14th, 2024. And I'm working with the From the Garden collection from Coco Daisy. Let's go ahead and dive right in. This week wasn't super eventful. The main things were I prepped my yard for spring and we saw the eclipse. So I was in the, I am in the path of total, whatever, the total eclipse. But, well, I'm in the, I was at the like 95%. Uh, my state is in the total and I considered driving to see the actual total eclipse, but I ended up skipping it because it just, it seemed like it was going to be cloudy and all sorts of things. So I ended up just hanging out at home and looking for my backyard, which worked out fine. Um, what, let's see. Hmm. I didn't grab a good photo of it, so I just snagged this one off the internet, and I just tried to look for ones from my state, and I think that that represents it's perfectly fine. I'm just trying to arrange all of my photos here to get kind of a good idea of how I want them laid out before I pull out my kit. So I'm working with the May kit from Coco Daisy, which is called From the Garden, and although it's the May kit, this is a week in April, but I think it's going to work well anyways, because this was the week that I prepped my garden for spring. So I'm going to start with the cards, I think. I'm just looking through here. I've already used this kit for a couple of projects, so there are a few things that are already missing from it. I do recall there were these, so I think I kind of want to use these. It says beautiful spring days, a day in the life, another perfect moment. So this might be good to kind of put on top of like photo here and maybe like that or something. I'm not sure, but I just have them laid out just to keep them in mind. So I do have two four by six spots that need to be filled. Obviously I can't use the May calendar yet. Um, and I don't love any of these for a big card. I mean, this for it might will work well for a title card, so I might use that. But I don't really want like this big floral, so I'm gonna look at the papers instead. Um, which is one of the my favorite things about the Coco Daisy kit is that you've got the papers also. And I could definitely pull some of these and just treat these like they are more three by four pockets, which is probably what I'm gonna do to get this space out a bit more. Um, I'm just looking through these patterns. I do really like that one. Or this one could be good for journaling. And let's see, those are just the repeats. And then I do have a few other things here. I'm gonna put these to the side for, for now and look at these, I do love this one too, at the three by four cards and see what I have in my other pockets. So th there are a ton of these in the kit. Oh. So we had the eclipse, so I want to tell that, that story. So long spring, now I'm saying hello to spring. And also, like in May, we're not saying so long spring. Um, this one might be good to talk about prepping my yard. I don't know that I want the, my journey there, but I can easily cover that up. Days like this make me smile is a cute one. Every flower blooms in its own time. Oh, I do love these stripes, but I need some, so I need a journal about the eclipse. I need a journal about doing my garden, and then I need a journal just about in general. So I don't know, I think I only have one filler, although I love this one too. Hmm. This is May, so I'm going to put that one aside. This one might work to kind of tell the story about a few things this week from the perspective of them being goals. And let's see, actually I do maybe have room for one more filler if I do it like that. Here comes the sun, kind of 
kind of love that for the eclipse. Although it's really here comes the moon. I do need, so I need like a journaling spot here. So I'm gonna actually look, I could create one with one of these ledger papers. This one I've already cut out of. I think I'm just gonna cut this into a lined paper here and make my own journaling card. And then I'm gonna use that one as my other journaling card. And then put these guys. Karen said if I want to use this at all. I'm not sure I do. I love it for the title for this. I could also cut it out and put it and make my own title card. That's a maybe, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna think about that. I'm gonna just put these things away. I definitely wanna put more on top of that. Let's see what else we have here. So this stamp set, which is the add-on stamp set, and I know it's hard to see because I don't have the printed version, but it has this same pattern in the circle here. So I could create some of these in black ink and kind of balance them with the vellum ones. I'm not sure I'm going to do that, but I like that idea. I don't know that I need more. And then let's see. I want to use some of these word phrase strips. looking through these stickers. I really like maybe the garden plans one. But I do think I wanna do like a before and after. So I have these alphas, I might use those to write that. I think I can write before and after with those still. And use maybe the washi strips to hold it. These are more planner stickers, but planner stickers work really well in Project Life, honestly. So I always like to look through them. Okay, so I think that gives me a good starting spot. I also have these chipboard circles, which I think will look nice layered with the other circles. And I could even see putting one on this circle of my cat, so it's like all these circles. Hmm, okay. I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on fast forward and start getting this one put together. Okay, so as usual, this one comes together pretty quickly. I started by cropping down this paper to make a three by four card. This was a ledger paper and I could have used the left side to have that like ledger piece on it, but I decided to just make a plain lined card because I am going to add decor to it. And you'll see that later in the video. Then I'm moving on to my title card. I tend to do my title card first or near first, uh, usually because I have a pretty good idea of what I want it to be like. And it kind of, I don't know, it's the title, it's the intro to the page and sets kind of the mood. So I'm cropping out the words from this card here and I'm going to put that as my title on it. And then I'm going to stamp my dates on one of these labels and add that to the title card. And that way I got to use that here comes the sun card, but I put it on the four by six rather than a three by four to kind of make it suit my needs and my spread. Uh, I'm just adhering everything down and I'm just stacking these words rather than putting them in the line like they were on the original card. And then I'm going to move on and look at the rest of the stickers and see kind of what I want to do on some of the other spreads or pieces of the spread. Um, I'm working on doing these vellum circles. I know I'm going to repeat it three times and I'm going to end up doing the similar treatment on all three of them. And I'm just wanting to try to figure out where to fit them, obviously on the two four by six photos, but it was a slightly big circle to put on a three by four photo. So it's a little tough to find something that worked. Um, but I ended up putting on that photo of my cat in a box because the box itself is not very pretty. So I'm okay covering it up. I'm using um, some of the word phrase strips from the Cousin sticker kit, and I am using some of the um, Days of the Week stickers that come in the journaling kit uh, or the stationary kit that I'm using to add the days of the week on each of those photos. Honestly, the one that says Wednesday, I don't know which day that was, but I just wanted to have that same pattern. And I really wanted to use those because this one had the Monday for the eclipse, which was kind of important that it was on that day or not important, but that was something of note. 
Then I'm using these alphas to write out a word on each of these. I put eclipse on that one. I'm putting yard on this one. And then on the one of my cat in the box, I'm writing cutie. I really, really love how these ones came out. I think that the one that says eclipse is my favorite because I like the length of the word on it. For the yard, I considered writing garden, but it's not really a garden. <laughs> so I, I went with yard, but maybe I would have done garden if I was doing it again, just because I think that that stylistically would have looked a little bit better to have a longer word there. Next, I'm moving on to this journaling card and I'm going to put some layered stickers along the top to create a title. So I'm using one of these ones from the Cousin Sticker Kit, and these are designed for the weekly spreads in the Cousin, but they're great for other uses as well. So I cropped it down to make a kind of a green base in the corner, and then I'm adding on a label and a, um, one of these stickers that has like arrows that was from the embellishments um, in the die cuts in the uh, Modern Memory Keeper collection. And then I used the Monday because again, the eclipse was on Monday. I don't use those days of the week stickers as often as I should in my project life. Because I do weekly spreads, there is you know opportunity to really use those on these spreads and designate each day. Typically I don't do it because I don't have every single day represented and I feel like I shouldn't use the set of the words if I'm not using all seven days because I feel like then it's not a complete set, but I need to break that habit because then they end up just accumulating in my stash and I don't use them. So it's totally fine to just use the Monday and not use the rest of them because I will, you know, find other spreads that don't need every single word either and it will be fun. This photo of my cat, I brought him outside for a little bit before the eclipse because we were sitting out there for a while. He doesn't come outside that often, but sometimes, you know, it's nice when, if we're sitting out there for a while. So I took a photo of him and put a few embellishments just on top of it. And then here I'm doing my journaling on this card that says small goals. Um, I'm doing just my little stories of the week. So if you've watched my Project Life videos in the past, you know I tend to do one card that's like a bullet list of stories from the week and then have other cards that have the longer stories. So this one is kind of representing my bullet list, but instead of doing just a all the stories bullet list, I'm kind of reframing some of the stories as goals. So I wrote about how so I wanted to write about how we were watching the cube movies, which is obviously not a goal, but I was working on my stamp organization during those and accomplishing that is a goal. So I framed it from that perspective. So that's kind of just an example of how I reframed my stories to fit the card. This one here I'm doing about my yard, um, but I wanted a little bit of a title. So what I did was I pulled out the washi that was also in the stationary kit and I absolutely love this washi. I think it was my favorite piece from the collection this month. But I put that at the top that says Saturday and I just unrolled enough washi to get to the Saturday I needed and just cut it off. I put the piece of washi that I didn't use that I cut off to get the Saturday back on the roll so that it will be available when I want to cut out some other words. And then I'm journaling just about my yard, about doing the yard work and about the tulips starting to bloom. And then I have those photos there that are the before and after I cleaned up my yard. You can see my feet in them. And, you know, I, I cleaned up all the dead stuff from winter and I put the mulch. And I really liked seeing that before and after of my tulips that had not yet bloomed at that point in time. And now they are actually past, past blooming and most of them have already died. But I was super, super excited about them and I absolutely love my tulips in the spring. That's probably my favorite part of spring. So I had originally adhered two of the other cards together, but I decided to rearrange them and put these ones across the bottom, primarily because when you look at the left-hand side of the page, I have that days like this make me smile card on the bottom. So I wanted it to be next to a photo on this side. And so I just rearranged them and adhered that photo back to the back of the one that the Saturday journaling card, just with a piece of washi so that I can slip them into a four by six pocket. I used some of the, one of the washi strips from the kit and these alphas to write before and after on these two cards. You can see I did it on this um, 
piece of plastic so that I could kind of center it and know how much of the washi I was going to need. But unfortunately, I stuck it down too hard in the beginning, so it tore a little bit on the backer, but it was fine. It didn't tear like the front of the washi, so you can't see it on my card. Um, but that is a trick that I like to use to kind of center things. Just I need to make sure to not push it down so hard. I think um, using the plastic didn't work so well for that type of sticker, but it does work for like the the thick puffy alphas really well. Um, otherwise, I have used like the backers of stamps because those do work very well um, because things tend not to stick to it as well and it will come off. You could also use like those sticker paper that, you know, they make the sticker books to restick your stickers and that would be very good for that as well. Now I'm just trimming everything down, slipping in the pockets, doing a final check to make sure I like all of the photos and everything I'm using. Um, I did talk about in the beginning how that eclipse photo was just one I snagged off the internet. I considered making a note of that, but then I decided against it. Um, I will probably remember that I didn't take that photo, but that's just a reminder. Like, don't be afraid to snag things off the internet and use them in your spread. You don't have to take all of your own photos. Here's a look at my completed spread. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye.